So it's been a pretty long time since we now have a goat at forks. Don't worry if you don't know what they are because I'm going to quickly explain what they are in this video. But what has happened is that lots of people is saying, okay, are these projects actually serious stuff or they are just protest projects, protest forks? And actually, there are like lots of comments related to this in uh, previous uh, videos. You can also verify them on your own. You can check other similar videos to know this topic. And there will always be somebody uh, saying these kinds of things. So I really wanted to give my point of view to show some information about this, etc. First of all, super quickly, I will go over what is all this drama about. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So basically, until a couple of weeks or months ago, we only had like the main Godot engine, but there have been um, going on lots of problems with the engine community. Uh, for example, lots of people were banned from GitHub, from Twitter, for expressing different ideas or for commenting different things, even people that were directly contributing to the engine. And also there were some problems in terms that they some people felt that uh, they were not listened by go to development team so they were asking for some features for such a long time and those features features were never available in the official engine so all the collection of these things super summarized up um, made people create forks what is a fork is basically a copy of godot okay um and, and that basically they can uh, code themselves and do whatever they want because godot is open source which means that their code okay their code base is completely public so anybody can download and create a fork or a copy of the engine and start doing whatever they want and the two main forks right now i are basically blasium and reddit which by the way i don't know why the web page is currently like broken or, or rotated i don't really know why and in reality, as you can see in a previous video, we analyzed all the differences between Godot, Red Dot, and Blasium. It was a super interesting video and super in-depth. So if you want to know the differences between these three, go and check them in the channel. As you can see, it is a pretty recent video. So now that we know a little bit of the background of uh, these Godot forks, of Blasium, of Red Dot, etc. Are these like serious forks or they are just protest? protest projects etc and well at least some of the people that have watched this video they have said um basically that yes it was a response to a goto team um that it is a protest it is a protest protest etc okay i am not saying that everybody is saying that this is a protest for maybe some people that does say that does um believe that this is a serious project um, they, they may say they may not actually comment it here but they may think that but well at least from my videos, I've been able to see that a lot of people think that this is these are just protest projects. And actually, love to know what they believe is a protest project or anything like that. First of all, we have to remember the, the origin um, of all these forks. Okay, once again, Godot did something bad, and all these projects they emerged as a, like a response to what they say. So factually, let's say yes, they are protest projects or things that um, come up okay that came up because of a protest okay or not maybe a protest but as a reaction more than a protest but then at least for me what i think that is pretty uh, interesting here to note is that these projects if they had been just a protest forks or anything like that they wouldn't have sur survived for so long these projects have been going on for like a couple of months and they have actually been releasing more or, or less stuff depending on each fork and well each fork has its own path so for example right now in terms of Red, once again, we actually took took everything here in depth, okay, in the video that I mentioned. But just to mention here, right now in Red, there are not significant uh, new features at the moment that can differentiate Red from Godot. But I've personally spoken to one of the Red moderators, and they told me that they are working on an experimental version of Red and maybe in something like a month they're going to be releasing it. And this version, okay, coming soon, we're going to be having like lots, lots of interesting new things. So what I want to say here is that if if this was if this was a protest fork, it would at least for me mean that okay that there wouldn't be like like a, a future plan or lots of people working behind the the fork or the engine. Um, so that's what really calls my attention. I believe that most people are right now calling Red Dot um, just a protest fork and maybe not so much Blasium. At least from the YouTube comments that I've that I've been getting, okay. I have not seen like many people or even one that I can recall that has called Blasium a protest fork. 
why would we have this difference because blasium actually has right now at this precise moment you can download it and start taking advantage of many of the features that they provide here there are some screenshots of their blog with some of the stuff and then well actually here there are some explanations about just some of these uh, features and also some of them that are not mentioned directly in their blog post or they're a little bit more hidden let's say or complicated to find so as you can see we have like lots of things if we compare it to Redot right now once again lots of things are coming soon to Redot and probably many more but right now as you can see Blasium I would say that it's much more advanced in their development stage so maybe as people have not seen let's say a uh, significant changes from Godot to Redot they're calling it they're calling Redot just a protest fork something that they did as a reaction as, as a way to maybe um, make some money or as a way of gaining some um, some engagement with the audience, okay? Once again, this is just what some people may think. It's not my personal view. In fact, I am, I am not sharing my personal view in, in a lot of these videos for obvious reasons. And also because it's not the main topic of the video. Here, I want to take a look at uh, the facts, okay? What we currently have over here. Basically, all the information that we have over here that you are able to verify. Because my opinion is not that, that important also for these kinds of videos. But still, what I do want uh, to mention, okay, is that basically all of these forks, okay, Redot, Blasium, I don't really know if there are any more, but I don't think there, there aren't like any more that are quite like uh, important or that they have released interesting stuff at least. These are the two most popular that these two, okay, they have their, their origin thanks to Godot, basically, okay? So if we take a look at this discussion in terms of facts okay yes they are definitely maybe not a process as i said but um they do have emerged thanks to a reaction basically why because godot has done some stuff badly and as a result the community have created these forks okay and therefore these forks are a reaction okay which at least from my conception is quite sim it's quite different so it's not similar to a protest fork or anything like that okay and also i would consider it more a reaction actually a positive reaction maybe we could consider it because the community getting together to create something new quite interesting and also by the way um besides the fact that if you like red or blasphemy or neither of them the work that has been done by the community itself with mostly like maybe not the resources that God has in terms of money and a number of developers, it has been quite amazing. So in that manner, I think that it has been quite good. So that's why I believe it's not like a process itself, but a reaction that was able to create two other engines or or forks. So I do think I do think that that is positive itself. And coming to the original question of the title, are there serious projects or just protests? Well, judging by what we have currently here, with all the things that they are planning or this an experimental version in which they are going to be releasing all these things over here, for example, and even more, okay, and in Blasium, that they have already published all these things, I do believe that they are serious projects. Of course, they are. They will always have the, the problem or, or, or thing that they will have to deal with as, as any company or as any project in terms of money, developers, etc. But I believe that right now they are doing quite well at least, or they are trying to do their best, and that's what counts, at least for me. Once again, I would really love to know your opinion in the comments down below and see you in the next one.